hello guys and welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial we're looking at how to install a windows 11 on a computer so the requirement for this is a windows 11 bootable usb flash drive now if i yet to create yours now i've already made a complete video on how to set up create and configure a usb flash drive which you can use to install windows 11 on your computer now i'm going to be leaving a link to that video in the description of this video and i can also find that video by clicking on this link above all right so with that being said let's go ahead and install windows 11 on this computer Right, so the first thing you need to do here now is to connect the windows 11 bootable usb flash drive which you got to your computer then you power on your computer and then continuously press on f9 now this is going to list out all the boot device that you have on your computer now what you need to do here just to select the usb flash drive as the boot device now on this page what you need to do here just to select your preferred language time zone and also your keyboard here i'm going to be leaving it at the default option and then i'll click on next so from here you click on install to begin the installation now on this page you just want to accept the license terms and agreements and then you hit on next All right, guys, so here we are giving basically two options here. Now, the first option is used when you are trying to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or when you are upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, all right? While the option two is used when you are trying to perform a clean installation of Windows. So since you are trying to perform a clean installation of Windows 11, I'll go ahead and select on the second option. Now, here on this page, what you need to do is just to select the partition which you are trying to install Windows 11. Here, I'm going to go ahead and delete all the partitions that I have here and I'll leave only one partition and then i'll select on it and then click on next to continue the windows installation Now the installation will start. Now the installation may take a while depending on the speed and the performance of your PC. Now the computer is going to restart immediately after the installation.
all right guys so immediately after the installation of windows 11 now it's going to bring you to this setup stage now here basically what you need to do is just to select your region so here i'll go ahead and then select my region and then i'll click on next then on this page i'll select the right keyboard layout for my pc now the right keyboard layout for my pc is us so i'll select on us and then i'll click on yes All right, on this page, you just want to connect to the internet. Now, once you connect to the internet, now it's going to bring up a menu for you, asking you to create a Microsoft account, right? So this is basically Windows 11. And if you are trying to set up Windows 11 on your PC, now you'll be wanted to sign in or create a Microsoft user account, all right? Now, the reason for this is that Microsoft is trying to synchronize your Microsoft accounts with the apps like Office 365, Outlook. If you don't want to create an account during this stage, now there's a way out of it. Now, what you need to do is just to press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard. Now this is going to bring out the command prompt home screen for you and then all you need to do here is just to type in the following command as displayed on your screen. Now, after typing in the command that's displayed on your screen, click on enter. Alright, so this command is going to restart your computer and automatically brings out an option to select I don't have internet. Now, once you click on I don't have internet, now you will be able to continue with the setup process. Alright. Alright guys, as you can see here, we now have an option to select I don't have an internet. So we have successfully skipped the Microsoft account creation process during this window setup. Alright. Now it's going to take a while and after initializing the settings now it's not going to bring us to the windows 11 home screen Alright, so guys, that is a quick way on how to install Windows 11 on your computer using a USB flash drive. Now, if this is actually your first time here on the channel, consider subscribing, turn on the bell notification. So that anytime I post a content just like this on the channel, you'll be notified and then you come and watch our video. Alright, so with that being said, see you guys in the very next tutorial. Bye for now.